Welcome to yet another episode of Power People, where we bring you the who's who of the music world. And today we have with us uh, Ms. Wusat Iqbal, the torchbearer of the Dili Gharana, Wusat Iqbal Khan and her uh, ensemble Ishke Hakiki is accredited to fusing the artistic treasury of Dili Gharana with Western music instrumentation. Uh, daughter of the Khalifa of Dili Gharana, Ustad Iqbal Ahmed Khan, Wusat Iqbal is an ancestry trained Sufi singer and a musical Dastan Go. Thank you, Wusat, for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you, Ruhel, for having me here. Thank you. You know, um, Sufi, of course, uh, I mean, um, since uh, for youngsters especially, I think... Uh, uh, they are exposed to Sufi in the modern way when Bollywood, for example, defined it as a Sufi. First of all, tell me about how did you, I, I know that you studied uh, uh, the institution that you studied in, I know about it. And then how did you get into the Sufi? Was it dad's influence, the family influence? Give us a little bit of your backstory. Sure. So, um... Well, as uh, you know that I belong to uh, the traditional uh, Dili Gharana of music, which is the oldest uh, Gharana in terms of Indian classical music, because it was founded by Hazrat Amir Khusro himself in the 13th century. So um, my story, I have had, you know, this, this me getting into Sufi is like a calling which recently, very recently happened. But I'll tell you how all, where all I started and what all I've done before that. So I was an uh, advertising professional. I have done my post-graduation in advertising and then I joined uh, Lodestar Universal as a media planner. Then I worked with Ministry of Communications as a media consultant there, Information Technology Department. But yeah and side by side i was helping my father me and my husband imran we were both helping our father um you know in kind of organizing the classical festivals and you know managing him as an artist and stuff so because you know artists are very simple and very you know they they are not they need somebody to you know market them to talk about them to represent them and stuff so we were doing that stuff before me becoming an artist this is like till 2015 so then came a time wherein uh, Abba was, Abhiji was, um, you know, lovingly teaching his uh, female students some Amir uh, Khusro's folk compositions. And I was sitting there and realized that, you know, and I spoke, with, I spoke with him and I told him that, you know, why don't we kind of do something with these compositions? These are the treasure that the gharana has. And... Uh, so we might as well present it to the world and not just limit it to, you know, the classical industry. So he liked the idea and he said, how do you propose to do that? So I suggested a couple of things. I said, you know, we might as well um, probably create a, a series for, for a channel or then came an idea of storytelling. Das Tango. And then we thought, okay, let's use these two art forms and present, a, like, you know, um, create a story around these life cycle compositions. That's how my journey as an artist began. So I was on stage on, for the first time as an artist in 2015, when I started the Dastan, the musical Dastan. Hmm. Uh, then eventually I used to sing a little bit because, you know, belonging to a tradition, thoda bhot gana bajana, aapko aai jata hai. So, I as an artist. I was a musical dance and I was a team. 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 I I was Suddenly, the urge to find my identity as to, you know, the existential crisis, which led me to spiritualism. Although we belong to a family which was following Sufism, spiritualism ever since. 
but for me like it was uh, you know i would look at my father attending the course and and you know contributing to uh, we were all believing in piri, piri and muridi and we were nizamuddin aliyas murid so that's where the journey of but recently when i lost him and when i just couldn't find myself and the answer why we are all here and you know the questions like these emerge and then my journey of a you know to practice sufism started and i started going to ajmer to my spiritual uh, imam there riyazuddin chishti and i started going to him that's where the journey of a sufi practicing sufi practitioner started and he suggested that you know you have such a repertoire of amir khusro and so much that you have in the gharana machli ke bacche ko tairna kaun sikhata hai you know mm-hmm. so then he told me that why don't you start singing professionally like sufi gao sufi mein kya gaoge ishq gao kyunki maqsad hamara duniya mein aane ka ishq hai to ishq ko gao duniya tak wo paigham phailao you will get a meaning to your life and this is why you are sent in this world because everybody comes with a different reason so that's how i started singing sufi kalams of azat amir khusro and i started writing my own songs this is how the journey began Uh, absolutely i mean uh, what a journey i would say but at the same time you know uh, getting into the uh, fitting into the shoes of your dad who has been uh, the, the guru the biggest name uh, did it make you anxious initially that you know you are stepping into something of course i think it comes naturally if you see any um, you know son or daughter of any big star of course this comes in so was there any anxiety initially that you know there's a huge responsibility to deal with yes there still is i don't know how i'll be able to you know keep up the faith that he saw in me and left everything <clears throat> i don't know i'm scared honestly but the fact that i know that he's around me is my motivation my strength and believe you me what i believe in is that he's hand holding and guiding me and taking me places so i know that i'll be able to do it because he's right. there besides he's he's guiding me so i know i i whenever i get stuck and i get you know scared or i get a little demotivated with the kind of you know situations that we face uh, as an artist i you know look up at him and i think about him and then i get answers to all my queries and everything and i get a direction also idhar jao udhar jao ye karo so course, i personally believe it i can totally totally uh, agree <laughs> that belief is what keeps one going you know it's also beliefs and belief and prayers of course you know they give you strength Absolutely. you know i wanted to ask you this question the way we look at sufi music uh, in the popular <laughs> culture you know we have i mean a song uh, in in a in a film uh, somewhere at the dargah with a little bit of urdu shayari and words and we think that is sufi music uh is <laughs> sufi music being misrepresented by such popular platforms what is your take on that yes absolutely so let me tell you what sufi music actually is all about anything that connects you to the almighty to the divine is sufi the poetry any poetry any music for that matter you know through which you connect to him that sufi music what is happening nowadays is that you know using terms like allah maula khuda doesn't make every song sufi all right i'm so sorry but this is what a bollywood no, i think you are showing a mirror to uh, our industry in a way because this is what is happening you put a word like maula and ali and you think we are done with this that comes sufi music no that's not how it is so you know it's a bollywood interpretation of sufism <clears throat> that you know using heavy uh, urdu words or you know maula khuda can make a song sufi any song with such simplistic terminology like mine ishq e haqeeqi the song that i wrote it starts with tere hone ka ehsaas hai teri khushboo ka waas hai yahi hai waja mere jeene ki ki tu mere aas paas hai कोई भारी भरकम उर्दू के भर 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 के मैंने इसमें नहीं डाले समथिंग विच केम फ्रॉम माई हार्ट वेरी सिंपल उर्दू सिंपल जबान हिंदुस्तानी जिसको हम कहते हैं उसको इस्तेमाल करके मैंने ये गाना बनाया 
और ये सूफी है क्योंकि इससे आप ये ये हमद मैंने लिखी है खुदा के लिए लिखी है तो इससे आप अगर उससे जुड़ते हो तो ये कोई भी चीज जो आपको उस हकीकी से जोड़ दे वो सूफी है इट डजन हैव टू बी दोज यू नो जो आजकल लोगों का एक इंटरप्रिटेशन है राइट so so i also want to uh, understand from you the current state of uh, independent uh, you know artists like yours you know what is it like i mean uh, in terms of uh, the nature of the industry uh, because i mean uh, i don't see many concerts uh, and bollywood also has its own cho- chosen few singers the established ones they all, if they have to ever do a sufi again it would be one they see it in a limited way second they will have their own people repeated to do that sufi so what is the give me a, people who are part of the sufi culture uh, among artists give us an idea of what all is happening are they finding enough work what are the challenges they are facing if you could just let us know there about that there is a lot of struggle believe you me <laughs> there is a lot of struggle which <clears throat> you know before i joined the industry as an artist i didn't know to be honest because as on the other side we were the organizers we would you know try to organize festivals and events for people but ever since i became an artist i realized that it is very difficult our life of an artist is a struggle abba hamesha mere kaha karte the ki kabhi ghee ghana kabhi mutti var chana aur kabhi wo bhi mana to matlab it's because artists start you know they're all daily wage earners let me tell you it doesn't matter whether you're an established one or a, a you know a, a struggling a company artist so you got to like every day you got to on for yourself so abhi mujhe ye realize ho raha hai ki yes there are their own preferences then there are their own groups you got to either be a part of these groups or to create your own identity bahut challenge hai acha ek cheez aur bhi hai na ki log aajkal covers kar rahe hain log aajkal artist के लेवल पे भी मतलब यू गॉट टू गिव वर्ल्ड समथिंग न्यू समथिंग योर ओन व्हाट यू स्टैंड फॉर योर ओन योर ओन आइडेंटिटी योर ओन स्टाइल व्हिच इज समथिंग दैट्स नॉट हैपनिंग तो मतलब आप अगर वही वही गाते रहोगे वही गाते रहोगे जो सभी गाते आ रहे हैं तो आपको क्या अलग मुख्तलिफ आपका अंदाज आप कैसे प्रेजेंट करोगे दैट्स फ्रॉम एन आर्टिस्ट परस्पेक्टिव यू नो फॉर एन आर्टिस्ट बट ये ऑर्गेनाइजर्स के तौर पर बहुत चैलेंजेस हैं अब पोस्ट कोविड तो बहुत ही बुरा अभी भी सिचुएशन जो है वो पूरी तरह से नहीं संभली है बिकॉज आई एम स्टिल स्टेइंग विद यू नो एट माय सेंट्रल हाउस विद अ लॉट ऑफ आर्टिस्ट अराउंड मी सो आई हैव सीन देम ऑल स्ट्रगलिंग टिल डेट फॉर वर्क बिकॉज अभी तक भी चीजें उतनी अच्छे से नहीं हुई वी आर होपिंग कि इनशाला चीजें और बेहतर होंगी एंड ये अनफॉर्चुनेटली सी एन आर्ट फॉर्म ऑलवेज नीड्स टू बी patronized by government it always has been you know mughalo ne bhi bahut patronize kiya pehle bhi kiya gaya to raja maharaja ne kiya aaj ke zamane mein wo sabse important cheez hai jo missing hai that element of patronization is the need of the art government needs to patronize arts arts and the artists they have to there is no escape to it like aap agar unki sud nahi lenge jaise pandemic mein hua royal i went to a different departments and state central government and i requested them ki bahut bura hal because i could see them all coming and begging and you know what not bahut bura hal sabka guzra un dino mein to lekin unfortunately there has been no response kuch matlab nahi raha to aaj bhi that need of patronization that lack of patronization is there they need to be patronized it's very important. i uh, you said government support is needed i would also say the private sector you know the Absolutely. biggest sponsors you know Absolutely. which we see a lot of festivals a lot of uh, music uh, you know uh, festivals are around but uh, i haven't seen many with the sufi theme barring a few i mean there are of course some of the platforms but you can just count them on your fingers on your fingers absolutely uh, one more thing i want so, to add here yeah. sorry yeah so you know when uh, this csr policy is in all under that category in fact a lot of people believe when you have to when you got to do something for csr under your uh, you know organization csr budget it has to be something 
टैंजिबल विच पीपल कैन सी यू नो टॉयलेट बनवा दिए और ये कर दिया सो आर्ट एंड कल्चर प्रेजर्वेशन पीपल डोंट रियली कंसिडर इट टू बी अ बार सी सर विच इट वेरी मच इज यू नो तो बहुत सारे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैं जिनके पास अगर हम जब इवेंट्स uh, करते थे और उनके पास जाते थे और उनको कहते थे कि भाई ये जरूरी है आप इसको पेटनाइज करें तो वो उनको लगता ही नहीं था कि ये कोई ऐसा काम है जिसको पेटनाइजेशन की जरूरत है वो कहते थे कि हम उधर डोनेट करते हैं और हम ये करते हैं तो हम कहते थे कि अगर ये आर्ट फॉर्म को आपने प्रिजर्व नहीं किया तो खत्म हो जाएगा फिर नए जनरेशन को लाने में आर्टिस्ट की जो फैमिली जो घर आने जो ट्रेडिशन है जो यू नो जनरेशन पीढ़ी दर पीढ़ी अपने लोगों को इस आर्ट फॉर्म में लेके आ रहे हैं वो भी घबराएंगे क्योंकि यू नो इफ दे डोंट गुड फॉर्च्यून फॉर देयर किड्स तो दे ऑलवेज बी अप्रीहेंसिव टू ब्रिंग देम राइट करंट स्टेट ऑफ अफेयर्स ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट आर्टिस्ट स्पेशली द सूफी जॉन ड्राइफ आई मे टॉक अबाउट uh what about new talent i mean those who want to go to this uh, you know uh, become artists uh, sufi artists i mean are they discouraged by what they are seeing happening right now what are you observing no i think uh, a lot of new talent is coming in the the uh, see the another uh, thing that i'll bring here is shah gird actually kya hai ki ye wo art forms hain जो आपको बैठ के सीखने पड़ेंगे यू गॉट टू बी अराउंड योर टीचर ये जो यूट्यूब स्टाफ से सीख के जो लोग चल रहे हैं ना वो ज्यादा नहीं चल सकते क्योंकि यू गॉट टू शाह गिर्द का मतलब होता है कि शाह के इर्द गिर्द बैठने वाला जो उस्ताद के गुरु के आसपास बैठ ये चीजें आप तभी सीखते हो और वो उनके मिजाज पे उनके मूड पे डिपेंड करता है कि अगर वो हफ्तों हफ्तों भी नहीं सिखा रहे हो और अगर उनका मिजाज हो गया तो वो एक दिन में जो है बीस साल का तुम्हें सिखा देंगे सो द काइंड ऑफ uh devoted students that i used to see in in you know my father's time wo ab nahi hai honestly bahut kam hai logo ko aisa lagta hai ki youtube se panch compositions sikhe khas aap ke matlab likha saab ke ya kisi ke bhi aur aap ja ke stage pe perform karna shuru kar dete to wo kya hota hai ki aap usko utna rat lete ho ki aapki originality usme khatam ho jati hai aapko ek ustad ki zarurat hai to aa to rahe hain magar wo अगर या तो सीख कर आ रहे हैं तो फिर तो बात ही अलग है लेकिन जो सीख कर नहीं आ रहे हैं उनको मेरा यही सजेशन है कि एक उस्ताद अच्छा एक ढूंढे उससे सीखें तालीम लें क्योंकि वो बहुत जरूरी है ये तो रियाजत का काम है इट इज यू गॉट टू प्रैक्टिस ऑल थ्रू आउट योर लाइफ टू बिकम एन आर्टिस्ट यू गॉट गिव योर सेल्फ टू इट ये इबादत है और सूफी मौसी तो वैसी ही इबादत है ये तो इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ बड़े बड़े ओलिया अम्बिया ने अपने लिए रस को अपने लिए मौसी को समा को अपनी इबादत का जरिया बनाया तो ये तो वैसे भी इबादत है तो right. वो कमर्शलाइज आप नहीं कर सकते हैं क्योंकि ये बहुत ही डिफरेंट एक एम्बियंस है एक डिफरेंट उसको वो रिक्वायरमेंट उसका होता है कि माहौल ऐसा हो कि सब सुनने वाले हो आपको समझने वाले हो तो लोग right. आ रहे हैं नए स्टूडेंट्स नए बच्चे आ रहे हैं आई थिंक आजकल तो वो बॉलीवुड ने भी काफी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट किया ना एक ट्रेंड में है ना सूफी म्यूजिक Right. Yeah, yeah, I agree, but I hope uh, we get the true essence of uh, Sufi music, even if Bollywood or any other platform. Yeah, and also the club, you know, now we're promoting Sufi music, Kobani and and clubs like that. They are encouraging new artists, giving them platforms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
try to bring the youth to the indian classical art forms and you know because and make it an in thing for them so uh, you know so we organize uh, cultural performances leg dams or uh, panel discussions workshops and there is a dedicated old delhi food festival and there is a culture bazaar so the ambience of you know to wo ek mahol dene ki hum youth ko koshish kar rahe hain and the first ever delhi darbar that we did we had around 30000 people attended in the span of two days and 80% of them were youth so you know where this uh, this people keep saying ki bachcho ko or youngsters ko classical music ya classical art form pasand nahi hai but i just think that it needs to be presented to them package to them in a way that they connect with it that's what we are trying to do and we're getting an amazing response so these are the things that we're planning so ojasvi my colleague is here and um, you guys hi. met the other day also at the event so ojasvi over to you hi Two hi questions. hi so um apart from music what is your favorite book current favorite book what is my current a favorite, favorite book that you uh, you are reading like to read oh the book okay yeah. so there is uh, in fact there is a book that i'm working on <laughs> myself oh, my yes which is on uh, Can you tell us about that also yes i'll tell you about that yeah. so this is a book that uh, at least that based on the research of my father on amir khusro's music and a coffee table book that i'm working on on amir khusro's rich cultural you know contribution to um, the folk tradition to classical tradition to the sufi tradition which is something that is that people are not aware of because when you talk about amir khusro you only know say chap tilak and at the maximum man kun to mola but he has he is much much more than that his contribution is unparalleled so i'm trying to bring a, a kind of a comfortable book on his music his contribution to um, our virani music to hindustani music and his folk composition sehri swag banada ki savan ki kem karnia along with a cd of 50 of his uh, rare uh, compositions that's great that's great So apart from Sufi music, what all genres you listen to? Oh, that's interesting. I listen to everything. Like I love classical. I because I've been born into this family. वो तो सुनते ही रहे. I love instrumental music. I love Bollywood as well. In fact, the जो वो classic दौर था वो गाने तो बड़े खूबसूरत लगते हैं. So oh. any favorites you have? A lot of them. Um, lag ja gale such a beautiful classic uh then i like some yes i like ghazals so uh farda khanam saiba ki ghazlein aaj jaane ki zid na karo mehri hasan sahab ye sab to legend hai inke ranjish hi sahi so these are my all time two lines also of your favorite song <laughs> okay yes aaj jaane ki zid na karo suna do okay ela thoda baitha hua yaar sorry <laughs> because you know delhi ka to bada bura haal hai i know thank yeah. god main singer nahi hu i can't hai zarurat nahi hoti to main kamre se room se bahar nahi nikalti because there's so much dust around pollution around hmm <clears throat> aaj jaane ki zid na karo ही पहलू में बैठे रहो हाँ मर जाए हम तो लुटे जाएंगे ऐसी बातें किया ना करो आज जाने के जिद ना करो थैंक यू ग्रेट थैंक यू सो मच ओजस्वी एंड एंड वुस थैंक यू सो मच फॉर टेकिंग आउट टाइम यू नो एंड आर एंडेवर एट लाउडेस्ट वेल माइक ओजस्वी माई कलीग एंड माई टीम यू नो 
we want to make it a true platform uh, to voice all uh, the ecosystem concerns and stories celebrate everything and sufi music of course you know when we see its state of affairs we feel that you know it needs to be spoken about Uh, the challenges need to be addressed and this is one of the steps in that direction and we'll do in fact much more inshallah and and thank you so much for taking out time and joining us on this episode my pleasure thank you so much sir lovely talking to you it's love thank you, thank you.